Hello, this is Dan. Hey, Dan. It's Butch from 94.3 Loudwire. How are you, man? Good, Butch. How are you? Good. You got some time to talk for, to me for a few minutes? Absolutely. I got to start off with the, probably the stupidest question of the interview. Uh, but is it really as cool as it seems to drive Bigfoot or drive a monster truck in general, man? Because it seems like the coolest job in the world. Actually, it is the coolest job in the world. It, it's a good way to take all your frustrations out and your anger and everything else. You know, you just you just get to do it all in one shot. Yeah, I believe it. I mean, I'm sitting in here in, in the radio studio, and I can throw my microphone around a little bit, but I don't get to crush cars on a daily basis or anything like that. Right. And yeah. it's really cool when you're driving a Bigfoot truck because it's not yours, so if you break it, you don't have to pay for it either. <laughs> even better, even better. Yeah, they made me pay for the <laughs> microphone I crushed the last time I got mad in the studio. <laughs> now, right. how, how, do you, how do you become a monster truck driver? For that matter, how do you become the most famous monster truck driver in the world? I've been with the company a while, but... uh. Actually, I started out as a crew guy kind of slash mechanic helping, you know, drivers that were already driving for the company and did that for a couple of years and got to know the vehicles and just got to know how the industry worked and worked my way into a driver's seat. No, that's awesome. So so if there was a kid, and I think most young boys anyways want to be a monster truck driver, what do you, what do you tell them? How do, how do they work towards that? Become a mechanic first and then work your way up? Is that is that the advice you'd give? Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of it. You know, school's got a lot to do with it, mechanical. Um there's a lot that goes into a monster truck. A monster truck has more moving parts than any other race vehicle in the world, you know, and it just, it's become very technical, just like any other racing industry. So yeah, I mean, it, you you have to be a mechanic because they do break. That makes sense. So that means that since I don't even know how to change the tire on my car, I probably won't ever be able to drive a monster truck. Is that what you're telling uh, me? If you, if, if you can change tires, you'll get the job done. That start. <laughs> Cars are just bigger than the other. Okay, okay, that makes sense. What's the coolest experience you've had driving the truck? Actually, um, probably the coolest experience is the long jump stuff that we've done in the truck, and and because of the equipment that Bigfoot has, you know, it, it made it very possible, and and I didn't hurt myself as well, you know. Just we did a a long jump uh, quite a few years ago. We actually jumped over a grounded Boeing seven twenty seven and jumped a monster truck 202 foot. That's probably one of the highlights of my career. Yeah, I'd say so. I, I would imagine so. Is that still the Guinness Book of World Records? Uh, no, actually, we we did it again at a Jamboree a couple years ago with the truck that I actually have here at the Budweiser Events Center, and we jumped this truck 214 foot 8 inches. Holy cow, man. I, I don't know about that. You you sound like a, a daredevil a little bit, maybe a little evil Knievel in you. A little evil, can evil, not a lot. <laughs> do you ever get to like drive it home for Christmas, or, or when you get mad at your neighbors, do you get to go take it through the neighborhood and crush their cars? <laughs> no, actually, the fuel mileage because we run alcohol is terrible. I mean, it's gallons to the mile instead of miles to the gallon, so you Ooh. wouldn't get very far. Yeah, that things. that doesn't That's, sound good. I wouldn't want that bill. Yeah, you can't even run from the cops. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you just run them over. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the Budweiser Event Center, you just spoke of it a little bit. You're going to be there tomorrow night and a couple performances on Saturday as well. We'll get to that. But it's a smaller arena. I know you guys get to go outdoors and get to do some of the bigger arenas, but being that the Budweiser Event Center is a smaller space to work in, what what are the some of the things that we can look for for you guys doing in the smaller arena? Because obviously you can't get the speed that you could get outside. Yeah, I mean, it is different than outside. The, the neat thing, because I did this this event about four years ago, the cool thing about this is the the, the toughest monster truck challenge actually came in here early. Um, they had them pull all the dasher boards, and they've pushed all the retractables back. That's the reason we're doing the three shows is because it's it's the seating. There's less seating because they pushed the retractables back. Yeah, that makes sense. So there's a lot more room in here. We've done buildings half this size with, you know, and they pulled all the dashboards, so it's huge. I don't think they've ever done that here before. Huh, that they got a great, that's they got interesting. A great, big, great big motorcycle freestyle ramp for the FMX guys right in the middle of the floor. We'll jump the monster trucks off that. We'll backside that, um, do some roundy round racing, a wheelie contest. There's, yeah, this is... This is probably the coolest show that's ever been in here as far as monster trucks go. That's Not awesome, man. It, it, it is. is. It is. All okay. right. We're looking forward to coming and watching it. Now, is it is it all for fun? Is it all for the show? Or are you guys, I know that there's there's quite a few monster trucks. Six of six of you, I think, are there this time. Is it is it a competition between you guys, or is it just a show? No, it's a competition. Um, Actually, this, this is, well, they've got one more. I shouldn't say that. But we run for points all of first quarter, and they actually do determine a points winner for the first quarter of the toughest monster truck challenge. So we're in it for real. 
Okay, that makes sense. That makes more sense. Is it all is it all racing, or is there is there different competitions? You mentioned the wheelie competition and uh, and, and the racing competition. Is there some different things that are into it? Yeah, the the vertical wheelie contest is what we'll start out with. See who can drag the tailgate the the best, and that's actually a, a judge deal. And then we do side by side racing, um, and it's a process of elimination. And then we go into like all out freestyle, where it's just one of us at a time. And then between the three things that we do, they actually determine an overall winner for that day as well as that's the guy that's going to get more points for the end of the year. And then what happens at the end of the year for the guy that gets the most points? A big trophy, big check? A big trophy, and the check's not so big, but a big (laughs) trophy and and more bragging rights. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, they're all chasing me from last year, put it that way. Okay, well, good luck on this year. Are you still leading right now? Absolutely. Perfect, man. Well, we'll be rooting for you tomorrow night. Tomorrow night it goes on at 7.30, Saturday at 1, and Saturday at 7.30 as well. There's still tickets available. They're uh, very affordable as well. Kids' tickets outside the Gold Circle are just 10 bucks. You can get details and tickets online at 943loudwire.com. Dan, thanks a bunch, man. It's always a pleasure talking to you. We look forward to watching you over the next couple days, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. No problem. Anytime. We'll see you soon. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.